Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to yet another video. It's Code Breaker Gaming back with another Tekken 8 Cards customization video. In today's video, we're going to be making the king of pop himself, Mr. Billy Jean Beat It Thriller Smooth Criminal. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be making Michael Jackson here in Tekken 8 in today's video so without any further delay let's jump into the requirements that are needed to make Michael Jackson uh, first and foremost you want to have a character selected by the name of Sergei Dragonoff as you can see here on screen this is Sergei Dragonoff this is his default Tekken 8 style he looks actually awesome and if you pay attention the guy already looks like Michael Jackson let's let's look look, look at this guy he already looks like Michael Jackson right <laughs> So we're going to um, bring this back down. We're going to zoom out and uh, let's get into it. So step one for the, for the hair, we're not changing a thing. OK, we're going to keep the same hairstyle that he has already looks somewhat relative to Michael Jackson. Now, the eyes, unfortunately, do not offer him a, a, a realistic eye color. As you can see, his default and then you see sunflower looks like this. So we'll use, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and use Sunflower. It's crazy that I don't have brown or black or hazel. We're not going to put any facial hair on the King of Pop, okay? We're not going to change his eyebrow color. There'll be no makeup, no face paint. And we are not going to tan Michael Jackson as this complexion is uh, very similar to his actual complexion. So we're going to back out of the top menu. We're going to go to the close sub menu. We're going to go to <clears throat> Let's come on down here to upper body. Now under upper body, we're going to look for piece and I'm going to find it for you here. Where is it? I believe this is it here. Uh, this is the blazer. This is the formal jacket. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna pick the. Uh, let's take a look at the blazer. Okay, I do believe the blazer can work. So now that we have the blazer unbuttoned, is what it says. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit triangle. We're gonna make color palette number one white. As you can see here, color palette number two, we're going to make that like a powder blue. Let's see if I can find a good representation. A little lighter than that. Let me see this one. Okay, yeah, it looks like the powder blue we want is going to be. Yeah, I think we should go with this one right here. So color palette number two, we're going to make it this. Uh, this nice soft blue color right here as you can see color palette number three that is his tie and we're gonna make that white mm -hmm. color palette number four and five we're gonna leave those as the default though that would be uh, number four should be the clip on his tie and <clears throat> number five will be the buttons on the blazer so we're not gonna bother those things okay and we are finished with the upper body. All right, we're gonna back out and go back into the sub menu for clothes. Now we're gonna go to his lower body. We're gonna find a nice pair of slacks to put on this guy. Okay. Here we have slacks here. They have a weird shiny look to them. Chinos, striped slacks, and herringbone slacks checkered slacks snake slacks showman slacks let's let's take a look at the uh regular slacks oh okay that's not too bad i, I was expecting them to have a um <clears throat> a uh, uh more of a shiny leathery look but these are not the slacks we're going to use unfortunately we are going to be using the three fourth length checkered slacks and they look like such now that we have these selected, press triangle, we're going to start to alter the colors. Now color palette number one, we're going to be changing that white. OK, 
Okay. Color palette number two. We're also going to change that white. Color palette number three is his belt. Let's make sure it is indeed his belt. We'll make that that blue color here. Okay. Mm. And color palette number four, we're going to make that white. Oh, that is the uh, belt buckle. Okay. And uh, we are finished with the pants. Now, I know that we... It kind of sucks that we couldn't get all of the... Uh, all of the, the pattern out of the pants and make it a nice solid white like the slacks. But we got to do what we got to do, right? All right, so now that we back out of there... And you guys can already see where this is going. Come on down to shoes. Now for the shoes, the ones we're going to be using is the leather shoes with the socks. All right. I'm going to go ahead and select those. And that's what they look like here. Now we're going to press triangle to alter the colors. Color palette number one, we're going to make it white. Right. <laughs> Color palette number two, we're going to make that. We'll leave that brown actually. Color palette number and color palette number two is the uh, the shoe strings. Color palette number four is the soles of the shoes. We're gonna leave that brown. And color palette number four are the socks, and we're gonna make those this nice blue to match the shirt. All right. And we are done with the shoes. Now we're gonna back out so you guys can see what I've done so far. Fifty bucks to whoever it is that can comment below which music video this version of Michael Jackson performed in. What music video did he wear this exact same outfit? We're not quite done yet. Let's come on up to the head. <laughs> and we are going to put a hat on this Michael Jackson. Unfortunately, we don't have a fedora style hat in here. That is so crazy. Let's see how this looks. And now that we have this cowboy hat, we're going to change it. Color palette number one to white. Color palette number two. Oh, what the hell happened there? Color palette number two. We're going to make this nice blue color here. And that matches the shirt as well as his socks. And let's take a look. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, 50 bucks to the first person to comment. What music video did this version of Michael Jackson perform in? <laughs> oh my God, if you grew up in the 80s, man, this was gold right here. So. We're going to move on into his accessories. We'll take a look. I don't think we're going to use any of this stuff here, honestly. They give you a mini hat. This is actually the style of hat that we want. But we're not going to wear that nonsense. Uh, actually, we're not going to use any of this stuff in here at all. These accessories are weird to me anyway, right? So, we come into the other. Now we want to go to the character panel. Now we have the Tekken 8 style. This is the default illustration when you select uh, this character. We have the Dragon Off illustration by Johnny or Juni. We have the illustration by JV Style and the illustration by Wolf Marker. Now Wolf Marker is usually my favorite, but for the purpose of this customization, we're going to use the illustration by Juni because it looks more like Michael Jackson than any other of the illustrations. So we'll go ahead and select that. Now, for the aura, I would suggest you could either use the blue trail, okay, now that is hands and feet, or you can just use the trail blue on the feet only to kind of represent when he does his, uh, the move he made famous, the dance move entitled The Moonwalk, where he uh, slides backwards in such a fascinating manner. And that's the one that we're going to select. The blue trail on his feet. Okay. Come on down to the hit effect. You can use whatever hit effect you like. This is to your own discernment. For me, 
I usually like to try to color coordinate the hit effects so I would either choose to go with the default type B I think that's a good one or you may want to come down here and go with the uh, violet systems blue or quite possibly the circle sky blue or if you just want to be a little bit more comical you can use the uh, comic effect in English wham pow this is uh, unfortunately this is something that is only unlocked through the first season pass that we had which has already expired um, I think I'm gonna use it the comic effect English wham pow and still we're waiting for someone to comment what music video this Michael Jackson version appeared in first we'll go ahead and change the background color to make it pop even more make it pop for the king of pop we're not gonna change his pose we're gonna come here and we're gonna shoot this thumbnail and you wanna hold R2 to zoom in L2 to zoom out push in the touchpad and use the left stick to move the frame and you wanna push X to finalize it and it will use this image as the customization slot thumbnail so when you're at the character select screen and you're selecting one of the custom outfits this will be the image you see you're gonna hit yes and ladies and gentlemen if you have just followed the steps that I have placed before you in this video you have just effectively recreated the likeness of the king of pop Michael Jackson here in Tekken 8 and for those of you who have yet to figure out which music video this version of Michael Jackson appeared in as I came into the window was the sound of a shindong take a look at your apartment he left the blood stain on the carpet did she ran into the table making sushi she wasn't able and then he ran into the bedroom she was knocked down it was her doom Eddie are you okay Eddie are you okay are you okay Eddie Eddie are you okay so Eddie are you okay are you okay Eddie you been hit by you been struck by a smooth criminal <laughs> ladies and gentlemen we have recreated the smooth criminal version of Michael Jackson here in Tekken 8. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and tap that like button. Comment below how likely or how strong of a likeness this is of the smooth criminal Michael Jackson. If you enjoyed this video, you want to check out another video here in the Tekken 8 character customization playlist entitled Michael Jackson from the Beat It video. We also have that version of Michael Jackson here in Tekken 8 and coming soon, if I can, I'm thinking about making the Thriller variation of Michael Jackson here in Tekken 8. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Code Breaker Gaming. I hope you guys enjoyed this Tekken 8 character customization video feel free to check out my Tekken 8 character customization series I have tons of other creations from other comic books cartoons video games movies and superheroes some of them include the X-Men 97 the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers I have some Mortal Kombat characters in there some SNK characters you name it we put them here in Tekken 8 as the customization options in this game are endless you can pretty much make any body but for those of you who enjoy playing Sergei Dragunov this will be a delightful treat for you and people are gonna go nuts when they see this character pop up in an online ranked match <laughs> and they'll immediately know you're playing against a smooth criminal it's been Code Breaker Gaming thanks for joining me we'll see you guys in the next one peace